All right, y'all, meet the APL 55 Ice Coast new top of the line freezer fridge combo for your Overland shenanigans, all right? So let's get into it. What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? How's it going? It's your boy Lavelle. And I'm Paris. And we all Neville Culture. Neville Culture. All right, so today you're wondering why we got two fridges out here in the middle of the desert. Well, it's to do a review, all right? So one of the things I like about this is it's huge frame. I don't know, it just looks menacing. It looks mean, it looks rugged. We've got some grab points for any type of tying it down. Of course, if you're in a car, you don't want it slinging everywhere. Nice big bumpers. I like the bumpers because we busted on everything. We've got the soft clothes dampening hinges right there. With the Alpico T60, one of the things that it did is you reach in, grab your things, and it would slam your hands into the door. Well, not with the Iceco APL55. Go ahead and close that, Paris. Hey! I got plenty of time to Bam. get my hand out of dangerous way, all right? Nice and quiet. It's got nice, secure latches and two lights so that I can grab my 3 a.m. popsicle on a summer night, all right? So what else we got? Ooh. Uh, leave no trace, y'all. It's time for the popsicle challenge. So here we are with these popsicles. This is the ultimate test. Now, we know what it's probably gonna be like, but we want you to see what this test is gonna be like. So right here, we have a group of popsicles that's gonna go into here. Into the ice coat. An ice coat. APL 55. And a group of popsicles that's gonna go into here. The Alpicool T60. Yes. So, take a look inside. Lay them out just like this. Yeah. All right. These popsicles are gonna go in here. I made a little space for them right there. All right, while we're here, let's take a look at the temperatures. We've got 10 degrees in the freezer and 34 degrees in the refrigerator. Now, we, I set these yesterday, and it looks like the ice cool has maintained its temperature better than the Alpicool because I set them to the same. It's been five hours since we first put these Skittles popsicles in and they're still not frozen. So one thing we're gonna do, they both have apps. Let's jump over to the car fridge app. It's set at 10 degrees. Let's drop it to, we'll drop it to zero degrees as well. Okay. Okay, now it's set for zero degrees and we'll leave the other side on 34 degrees. All right, guys. <clears throat> so we're gonna leave these two fridges freezing until tomorrow when we're gonna give you an update. And I know very much after living with this thing for an entire month, what the APL 55 from High School, all new, is gonna do. All right. Mmm, that sound in that lock. Lock it, baby. That's one of my favorite parts too. All right, y'all, so we did a competition last night on which fridge would do better at freezing some popsicles. And then, how would they handle it coming out here in the desert and getting that direct sunlight? So, just to give you guys the verdict, APL 55, did it better, kept it frozen, more hard, and you know, that's what you want. We lived with the Alpico T60 for two years and it was never able to keep our strawberry shortcake ice creams frozen. No matter how much power we gave it, no matter what happened, it just could not keep our popsicles and ice cream bars frozen. So we haven't tested it out with the APL 55 yet, but stay tuned for the real test. But before I start getting on roasting the APL, not the APL, the T60, let's get one of these popsicles going right now. Mm, look at that. What the T60 does not have is a good seal. It's a, it's a small foam gasket and it does not keep the temperature down. 
The LP Cool looks bigger at 623 quarts. This one's 58 quarts, but it's so much bigger. Why is that? Because of the insulation. The problem with these types of fridges is, even though they might be reliable at home, connected to a 120 volt service, with 12 volts in a van with fluctuating temperatures, it's just not going to be able to keep your food to a consistent temperature. We left these short cakes in the T60 for longer and it's still not frozen. Without further ado, it's time to check to see how the APL55 did with freezing the strawberry shortcake. Okay, look at that. Just how I remember them when I was a kid. This freezer kept our ice cream frozen. If you want this freezer fridge combo, you already know what to do. Click that link in the description. Mm -hmm. What y'all waiting for? Buy yours now with our affiliate link in the description and don't forget to use Lavelle X Paris at checkout for 12% off your entire order. See y'all next time. Peace out.